Uh, today we're going to learn how to uh, multiply fractions with models, but we're going to use a number line this time. Uh, mark one whole into fourths. So we're going to make this number line into fourths. I cut it in half and then cut my halves in half. And I have that broken into fourths. Next it says shade three fifths of the number line. Well, we have fifths here. We have one fifth. And then we have two fifths. We have three fifths. Four fifths and one whole. And I'm going to shade up to three fifths. So we're going to be sh uh, shading number lines just like that uh, today, but we're going to be doing something kind of similar to what we did in the last lesson, where we uh, we're looking at the kind of the overlapped shaded part. And uh, oh, I missed a part here where it says when marking fractions on a number line, they must have equal parts. Again, fractions must have equal parts. So it says model the following problem. 3 fifths times 2 thirds. So in blue, again, I'm going to shade 3 fifths. And shade 3 of these. All right. So 3 fifths shaded in. And then I need to shade 2 thirds of that 3 fifths. So I'll take my three fifths here. And let's forget that they're fifths for a second. We just have three parts. And we need to make two thirds. We need to shade two thirds of those three parts. Well, that means I'm going to shade two out of those three. So I'm going to shade that in red. And the parts that we have right here where we have both red and blue will be our answer and we have one two out of one two three four five through our two fifths of our number line is shaded so three fifths times two thirds is two fifths and that's the same as saying two thirds of three-fifths or three-fifths of two-thirds. Um, that of is just another way of saying times. So now we'll do another one here. This is five-sixths times one-half or one-half of five-sixths. So the first thing I need to do is I need to shade five of my six. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five of my six shaded there. And of those five pieces, I need to shade a half of them. But I can't break five into two equal parts when, with whole numbers. So I, what I'm going to need to do is I'll need to change these. Uh, I'm going to make them not fifths. I'm going to break those fifths into 10 parts. Now I still need to split my last part into, into, uh, into two different parts because now we're, basically what we've done is we've taken our denominator, our six, and instead we're, taught we're making this into twelfths. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, it's kind of the same thing that we do when we're adding and subtracting and we find a common denominator. Um, we're just breaking it into more parts so we can split them um, and split them a little bit more easily and uh, we can find an equivalent fraction. So our 5 sixths now becomes 10 twelfths. 10 we can break into two equal parts. We can make to find a half of 10 twelfths. Half of 10 twelfths will be 5 twelfths. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. It's going to come right to here. So I'll use my red pen to come to five twelfths here. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to end up with five twelfths. All right, so now we can see that we have 12 pieces. Five of them are shaded with both blue and red, which is this section right here. That's where my red stops. Number two, we have 2 thirds times 3 fourths, 3 fourths of 2 thirds. So I have thirds already, my number line already broken up into thirds. Um, I have 1 third here, and I have 2 thirds here. And I'm going to need to shade with my blue pen two of those thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I have two thirds shaded. And I need to find three fourths. Um, and I only have two pieces, so it's going to be hard to break that into fourths. But what I can do is I can split all of my units in half. including the one that I didn't shade. And now instead of thirds, I have sixths. And in just my blue shaded part, I have four sixths. And I can break four sixths into, uh, I can find three fourths of four, right? So I have four pieces, one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna shade three of them with red. So I need to shade three with red. One, two. Three, there we go. And what I'll end up with here is one, two, three, six. And three, six equals one half. Three is half of six, and we can see that we're halfway down our number line there, um, right in between one third and two thirds at three sixths because we could look at one third as two sixths and two thirds is also four sixths. Those fractions are equivalent. All right, so we'll try a couple more this way. It says, four fifths this time times one half. So we need to figure out what one half of four fifths is. So we'll start by shading in four fifths. One, two, three, four. So I have four fifths shaded in. I have to figure out what half of that is. Well, I have four of them. So I will take my red pen I'm going to shade in two of them because two is half of four. And I'll end up with just these two right here. And my answer will be two fifths. And if we look at that, it kind of makes sense. Four fifths times one half is two fifths. Well, one half of four fifths, um, if I wrote it this way, if I called it you know, four fifths rather than four over five. Well, half of four is two. So half of four fifths is, um, you know, if I did like four fifths, saying half is the same as like divided by two would be two-fifths. So just another way to think, of, think about it. Um, number four, it says one-half times three-eighths. Again, we're going to have three-eighths, or we're going to have one-half shaded in. And then I'll need to break this into eight parts. So I'll do four or two, and then fourths, eighths, 
So now I have that part broken up into eight parts, but that means I need to break my other part up into eight parts as well. So I'll do that right now. It's gonna give me 16 parts all together because I'm breaking both of my halves into eight parts each. So I have 16 parts all together here on my number line. And when I find three eighths of one half, well I have, now I have eighths of a half here and I can look at one, two, three. Just that little bit right there. So it's just gonna be just right here is red and blue. And that's three, not eighths, but three sixteenths because we have 16 pieces all together and three of them are shaded in both red and blue. And that's our answer. So now let's try it without a number line. If we have three sevenths times one third. I want to look back real quick. If we look here, let's look at our numerators. One times three is three. Two times eight is 16. We get three sixteenths. And the reason, we, the reason that happens is two times eight, well, I'm splitting my halves into eighths making halves into, if I have two halves and each half is eight parts, I'll have 16 parts. So that makes sense when I multiply my denominators, I'll get my total number of parts. When I uh, use my numerators, well I have one half split into three parts. One of my halves is split into three parts. Well, one times three will give me the number of parts that'll be shaded in. So if I multiply my numerators, then I multiply my denominators, I'll end up with a fraction that is the product of those two uh, fractions. Same here, four times, uh, well this one's a, uh, actually a little, a little bit tricky because it's not gonna give me two fifths right away. It's gonna give me four, four times one is four and five times two is 10. It's gonna give me four tenths, but four tenths, if I divide four by two and I divide 10 by two, I'm gonna end up with two fifths. That's the equivalent to four tenths. Um, so sometimes I'll have to uh, simplify my fraction afterward to get the uh, to get the same answer. So let's try these ones without a number line. So if I do three times one, I'll get three. If I do seven times three, I'll get 21. But I also know that 21 is a multiple of three. And three is a multiple of three, obviously, because three times one is three. So I can simplify that by dividing both of them by three. I'll divide my three by three and I'll get one. And I will divide my uh, 21 by three and I'll get seven. And I end up with a product of one seventh. So three sevenths times one third is one seventh. Which again, should make sense to us three sevenths, one third of three sevenths, um, one third of three is one. And if our unit is sevenths, a third of three sevenths should be one seventh. Again, we multiply here, one times four, that'll give us four. And two times five, that will give us 10. And we saw right up here when we did four fifths times one half um, that four tenths is equivalent to two fifths. And one half of four fifths is two fifths. All right, so we're gonna end right there. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.